And then, and you mentioned something too around capabilities and like trade offs with size and power. Mm-hmm. When we, when I first floated the idea past you uh, of coming on the podcast to do a line, I was, you, you, you made a comment to me about, hey, listen, when we really design a camera, we're, we're starting with the chipset and then we kind of design the camera around the chipset. Can you take us through, uh, you know, because these are running all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're balancing longevity, heat, compute. And I mean, and like image sensors don't like heat. They don't seem to like that. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a, like these cameras can't get that hot and you are enclosed. You're fully enclosed. And so if you can kind of take us through some of the, like what the process is of designing a camera when you say, and it's specifically around that chipset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think different chipsets have, and different generations have had different, I would say, focus where, where before it was much about encoding uh, and and now maybe it, it's uh, it's more about compute, uh, but you're right. I mean, heat and heat dissipation is is a very um, challenging part in all computing devices. I mean, look at phones or or, or laptops and so mm-hmm. on. I mean, today, I mean, you can run full day and 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 it, it's it's not even warm. I mean, but I, I think there has been some tremendous development in in uh, in power efficiency when it comes to to. Uh, to, to silicon and 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 uh, chip and, and and compute so but, but but with that said of course if we have a, a, a big aluminum heat sink as in q35 we can put some more power through that camera mm-hmm. 